we're here at Honeybrook Farms, an organic farm in Pennington, New Jersey, and we're working with Rutgers University and Walmart and the University of Arkansas with trying to patent and develop new strawberry cultivars. We're planting five new strawberry cultivars along with two cultivars previously developed at Rutgers and two commercial varieties as comparison. Right now they don't have names, they're numbered by the breeder. Our goal is to find out if some varieties perform better in organic farms versus traditional farms. Honeybrook Farms is an organic farm, so they use different types of fertilizers and pesticides that are organically produced versus conventional farms that use more synthetic materials. Yeah, hi, Jeff Tober, Fernbrook Farms CSA in Chesterfield, New Jersey. We've had strawberries since the first year of the CSA, which is 2007, and it's probably one of our uh, most beloved, if not the most beloved crop that we have. It's a, a U-Pick crop. It starts uh, usually early June each year and goes for about four weeks. And um, it's probably, yeah, a good strawberry crop. Definitely makes the month of, of June, if not the, uh, the whole season. This is a bed of strawberries planted um, in conjunction with Rutgers University as they're field testing a few of their most uh, exciting and promising varieties of strawberries. And uh, we did this last year with them, and we're really happy to do it again. And um, we'll cultivate these plants organically throughout the season, straw mulch them for the winter, and then uh, come June when they're fruiting, we'll help them with their research and documenting all the great traits of, uh, of these fruits. So today, we took tip cuttings for um, one variety out in our strawberry uh, patch. And the way we did this is we selected the, plant, the youngest runners from the plants. And they have to have leaves between two to four inches uh, wide and very small root nubs. They're about two to four millimeters long. And you cut the runner off of the plant and then you cut any uh, trailing runners off of that particular plant and you just lightly put it into the soil and a light coating over it and you have to keep watering them so that the foliage doesn't dry out while you're doing this. As you can see most of the plants now are wilted. They've been sitting out in the sun for a few minutes and then you immediately will bring these tip cuttings over to a greenhouse set up with a misting system and that allows the foliage to stay moist. This is the greenhouse where we have our misting system and we take all of the plants that we cut from the field and bring the trays into the misting system where they'll sit for seven to ten days. We leave the tips in the mist until they develop a root system. By developing a strong root system this ensures that the plants will be successful out in the field. My name is Steven Specka and I'm at Specka Farms in Springfield Township, Burlington County. I'm in the strawberry field right now. What makes this field special is it's a cooperative project by the University of Arkansas, Walmart, and the New Jersey Agricultural Experiment Station at Rutgers to conduct a, a variety trial for strawberry varieties. It allows us to extend our spring season and offer a, a crop variety that's universally accepted as, as tasty. These strawberries are good for us specifically because they're cultivated to grow well in our climate in New Jersey, whereas other strawberries from different parts of the country may not respond too well to our weather. Thanks to Walmart and its help through universities, our small farm is able to provide our community with a locally grown strawberry that keeps our customers coming back. 